guys, welcome to Amis Felix Vlogs guys. Today is indeed another day in Dominica. We are actually in Marigot right now. I'm gonna shoot an aerial shot and try to do the vlog of it. But Mari Marigot looks pretty big, let me tell you about it. But where there's a wheel, there's always a way. You know that's my motto already. You know that's my motto already. I mean, it's obvious, you know what I mean? I'm here in Marigot, close to the airport. The bridge is just over there. And I am seeing this thing right there. So this is the airport right there. The plane must have came all the way here, walked across the airport, flew above the fence, swim across the river, climb on top this thing, and ended up there. Now you might think that ideology is a bit crazy. And it's possible. But do you even have a better explanation for this? Let me head to the mountain. For those of you who don't know, Marigot is where Melville Hall is located. So um, I want to go to a height and be able to send this stuff down. The aerial shot, send it down and then back up again. So wish me the best guys as I try to make this happen. You know what this, this place is called? Dam. Dam? Okay, we're sending it down to the dam. <laughs> Marigot dam. Marigot dam all the way up there. Marigot. Come across this way. Rosil. That's Rosil. Uh -huh. All the way across. And then down to Menville Hall, Melville Hall area, mm, to the bay. We are, um, uh, and oh yeah, down there. Oh yeah, 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 that's true. Mm -hmm. What I wonder, I can, I can shoot from up here, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> my God, big, you know. <laughs> Anyways, big up yourself one time. Yes, Vessi. <laughs> <laughs> one time. So you gotta help me out because I, I don't really know much. I know the airport, but I know some places of my God. But <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go up in three. This you're looking for the gun. <laughs> I want him more. <laughs> you know me, I hope you know that. He's scared of me. He's scared of me. Let it, let it see what I'm Let me pass. Let me pass. Hold him. Hold him. Yes. Yes. Uh. Boy, to tell you the honest truth, I don't think I did Marigot justice. Marigot is just a really, really, really big place. I tried to do it in a circle, but that did not work out at all. The more I went, is more houses and more places I'm seeing. I'm like, yo, where does it really end? So I don't think I did Marigot justice. If you don't see a house, <laughs> I really don't know. And this thing went from 100 to about, I don't know probably to 22 percent remaining the guy was we just saw a while ago he, he was kind of scared of it <laughs> which was interesting mm. anyways i got my partner there guys you saw him twice already once twice price yeah. <laughs> jelani gray aka j mm. just taking in post maria marigot in it's my second month mm. had a chance to run i should have run <laughs> All of that now. Okay, I partially regret it. I partially regret it. Tell me your experience with the hurricane. My mother told me David was the worst. Now she and everybody else who, who saw David, mm. they can eat their words because by far this is the worst thing I've ever seen in my life so far. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people are giving the credit for the worst thing, not to a man but to a woman, the Maria. Yeah, it's always a woman's fault sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> well, I don't know about that. Half and half. Half and half, half yes. And half. It's either or. Yeah, yeah. Either or. Tell me your experience during the hurricane. Mm. I, I ran from my house. Mm. My mom fought. You got scared? No, I, I didn't get scared yet. Mm. I thought, no way this thing's gonna take my house. But mm. the same time, my mother fought, Jelani, let's get out of the house. We cannot mm -hmm. stay here. So I went at that house over there. That one right there? That one right there. So I thought I was in this, one of the safest homes in Marigot. That was wrong. Because by 10 o'clock, the roof went. Mm -hmm. And my cousin who I was staying with, he stays there too sometimes with his grand auntie then. And he woke me up. I was sleeping during the hurricane. Mm. I was like... <laughs> then he comes, <laughs> Jay, wake up, wake up! <laughs> there's a heart. What do you mean there's a heart? Man, wake me up when things get drastic. Mm. <laughs> and then he did because right after the house started flooding and I mm. thought, okay, you know what? I can't sleep in this. Mm. Can't sleep in it. So between the hours of one o'clock, between one and two, I was Shoveling, shoveling water out mm. of my house, their house. Mm. And the only thing I kept thinking was, why did I leave my home? Everything wet. I'm talking soaking wet. Luckily, I had a jacket, so I couldn't cry. I couldn't complain too much. Mm. My mother and father were hiding in a wardrobe. Mm. I couldn't feel, I couldn't hear anything except mm. the wind just beating down on my eardrums. Mm. And the only thing I was thinking, boy, 
with it. We're gonna blame for all of this. Mm. Oh yeah, scared, I forgot. <laughs> either way, Dominica would have gotten wrecked either way. If it mm. was by this or by the economy or by some fiscal crisis, Dominica was gonna get wrecked eventually. But the uh, next morning, I saw what hell looked like. I mean, if that, the house I thought was the strongest one in Mario got, got mm. destroyed in less than 10 minutes thanks to the hurricane, then what could I possibly think would happen to my home? Mm. When I reached home, my roof was still there, so I had no reasons to complain. So you left where that was safe, thinking that some somewhere else would have been safer. Yeah. And where you went was actually worse than yeah, where you ten, left. Yeah, ten times worse, ten times worse. I mean, mm. literally, those, I don't... Yeah, Just I. My advice, don't build a house like that. <laughs> okay. What do you think about the relief? What was the relief here in Marriott? What relief? Hmm? What relief? Like food ration and this thing. What like. rations? I've been living off what provisions I could find in my father's garden. Some people will say they're getting, some will say they're not getting. I have seen people literally just grab water that was coming in on the ports down there. Mm. Just grab the water. And run. Just grab and run. Mm. Just grab water and, and run. Who jumped on the forklift? A man actually jumped on the forklift when they were lifting it, you know, mm. covering the water. Mm. And I think to myself, we're in Dominica, we're in Marigold. Marigold doesn't need this much water, mm. or this much bottled water at least. We are not seeing rations. When are we going to get the rations? When, are we, when do we have to come for the rations? Mm. We want to know the specifics, but no one's telling us anything because we live all the way up in Zion, so I mm. guess it's our fault for not being down here where the, where the action is. Mm. You know, I don't hate anybody because of it. I don't despise the way they're acting. I mean, it's human beings at their worst. Mm. We're cornered, we're backed into a war. Yeah. So right now, you would look out for somebody who's close to you. You'd mm. look out for that person you generally cherish more than some random stranger you pass on the road and you say good afternoon or good morning mm -hmm. to every day. But right now, my mother and I just came down by the port area, mm. the fisheries complex, and in there, piles of food still mm. there. And some people can honestly say to, till, to this day, they haven't received rations. One, no, one not ration. One, not, one, hmm. not one piece of rice, not a bottle of water. Well, they don't really need the water because we have enough springs in Marga mm, to last mm, us a decade. Mm. Oh, okay, more than a decade. But I can honestly say now, I know what my parents' life before the internet felt like, before mm, electricity, mm. Before, the, before the niceties that we, we have. That we, we took like, advantage of. Yeah, and we took mm. granted. Like I know what it feels like to be in the dark ages, because every night is a candle. Mm. Mosquito does please you? Every day, every night, all day, all night. Mm. So it's a war zone yeah, between you and mosquito. Yeah. Bear war zone. My wall is decorated with my own blood. Mm. Because of mosquito because you slap. Mosquito. Yeah, because mosquitoes I slap. Mm. It could be worse. Like we were literally in gangs, kill, trying to kill each other for rations and mm, goods. Mm, mm. It's not that bad, man. As far as we're slowly rebuilding, it's just that you see a side of you people that you genuinely thought you could never see. So, well, in primary schools, grade 5 and grade 6, but in high schools, mm, four, and five. 4 and 5. And mm. some teachers are not even considering it, like it's not making that much sense. Mm. They're doing a rotational shift. You won't teach today, but you have to show up to work today, mm. but you teach tomorrow. One teacher said they won't be able to get a generator from the Ministry of Education. They requested one and they said that they that they declined the request. Sure. They declined the request. They declined from what she told me. Mm. They declined the request. I'm not mentioning that woman's name. Mm. They declined the, requ the request for a generator. Well, guys, that, that, that was a lot of information right there. <laughs> so yeah, man, mm. pull up in Marigot, you know, Big might up. get a few more people to, you know, give their viewpoint on Marigot and so forth. But definitely, guys, I really, I first time in my life, I feel like I didn't really you know <laughs> do that aerial shot properly because there was so much places in so marigold much, man. you see the button the black button on top of it yeah this one double right tap there. it for me please okay when you double tap hold on the second time do, do double tap again yeah mm -hmm. and then hold on the second time hold it yeah nice Cool, thanks. Hey. Hope you want to give your, your, your view on, 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 on the hurricane too. Yeah. How's, how's, your, how's your view on the hurricane now, bro? It, is, it was bad for us, but we still had to enjoy it. Mm. <laughs> enjoy it? <laughs> yes, I, I mean, but oh. all now I feel it. Yeah. All now I feel it good. Mm -hmm. Yes, although it's bad. Mm -hmm. yeah? So you feel like you, you're motivated to you know, go out and help and, and this kind yeah, of thing? Well, yeah, well, it's not much help. I don't find we had mm. much help. Mm. I don't mind to tell you, like, people was, I got people especially. Mm. You know, when it comes to the food time, it doesn't get mm -hmm. it scares. You know, food ration is scarce. Food ration wasn't really circulating in Marigot much. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, we still at home. You know, Marigot people is more independent people. Mm. You know, 
you know, mm. hold on on people too much, no other mm. place. Mm. Oh. To help you and help, things. To help yeah, us yeah. Okay, okay. We can help ourselves. Mm. Guys, let me tell you something. There is no greater relationship than a man and his dogs. He's just rolling out different places and his dogs follow him, you know, they're protecting him, they do what he says and, you know, there's no greater relationship. I realize that my God houses were probably stronger. There are a few that are gone, but there are still a lot. The guy earlier was here. His house is right there. Now, the interesting thing about this house, it is in the path of the hurricane, the rain and the wind, but absolutely nothing happened. Yo, Olio, I came here just in time to do this. Right now, it's kind of raining in Marigot, which is, you know, a good thing, yes, for the plants and so forth, but the bad thing if I came a bit late. As soon as I was finished talking to the two guys, rain started to fall. I can fly in the rain, you know, but... I rather not. So even with the destruction and all of that guys, there was still a lot of houses that had their roofs on and they stayed perfectly. Marigot may have some kind of secret in how to build houses, but then again, this was the agricultural community. After all, if you know how to tie rope, you must be able to put roof air. So guys, I'm here with an individual and he is basically talking about the insurance and how things are going with assessment and so forth. Bro, can you, you can you further expand on that? Yes. I really do not know what's happening. Over a month now, I ask a fellow to do some mm. We've insured it through the bank and a pri if I give him a private job. Mm. But the same belong to me. Both yeah, yeah, me. yeah. Mm. I cannot get him on the phone. Mm. He doesn't want to answer his phone. He doesn't answer his phone. And it's not pleasant going to Rose. Mm -hmm. and then, oh, so he's from Rose? He's, yeah, he works in town. Oh, know? okay. It's difficult to get them around the country. Mm -hmm. The people are telling you, get this one, get that one. Mm -hmm. get but around Maraga, West, they don't have people. And mm -hmm. if you have them, they are based in Rosal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have that problem. And then getting them is the first thing you've got to pay them something like $500 mm -hmm. to travel to this place. Before? Yeah, to travel to the spot, to get to the spot. So so and the person probably get the money already and check Well, I don't pay, yeah. Oh, <laughs> okay. Bank must be deal with that. Okay, okay. okay. Like, mm. The next thing you pay insurance for this insurance is a fake, mm. is a crime, is a this. Mm. You pay them all the while and then and a triple pay. Uh, she came and slammed on my can. They tell me that's act of God. Mm -hmm. So they don't want to pay for they act of God? To, they tell me they're not paying. Hmm. If it, insurance was doing July, that happened in September. July, $1,980. Mm. Comprehensive. And they tell you that. <laughs> you know, this insurance is a scam. It's a scam, now. boy. And then you pay so much money for insurances and then when to, you have to take the excesses and all those mm -hmm. things. So it's like giving free money away. Yeah. What are, what are you going to do if they say they're not going to cover it? That means you have to take it from your pocket? Very good. So, well, they, well, they, well, they might, what, I, what I'm scared of mm. is that they might pay the early ones. Mm. The ones within range. Yeah. <laughs> They're those who uh, not they can meet within range and then one down said, they're bankrupt. Mm. That's what might happen. I don't know. So you don't really know what to do? You, they, to you, me, you are customers? Post I don't figure I'm making any progress in my life. Mm. I, should, I should have made all that progress, you know, but from that mm. scenario, I'm not getting away from it. You can't get anything done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you're supposed to provide that. Mm. You insurance, they say, they ask you for this, they ask you for that. You have to rely on a third person to mm. get the money mm. type of. And they're not coming. I'll, admittedly, computers are not functioning. Guy, I mm. said to guy, oh, yeah, my. he said, oh, I will handwrite it. I say, beautiful. Mm. They have to accept it because he's not coming out. And then nothing. So how long has that been though? Four weeks and no word, no, no phone word, call, no nothing. Actually, he mentioned to me that he would be married but mm. on a, the weekend go on. The weekend pass. Uh -huh. I have seen him, I have heard him because I still have another property. Mm. So he's one of the certified persons. I, mm. mind I need to get it assessed mm. because the people them just sent me the a letter telling me they're not in Dominica. Mm. So, so check out the house so they're not with this hmm. You know, you're not getting anything. You get out and you morning, you get out trying to get something done. Mm. Nothing is being done. You and that is very frustrating. It is frustrating. Hmm. It's depressing. I wish life you all the best. Life goes on. <laughs> yeah. Life goes on. Yeah. All right, bro. Thanks so much. I was going to go around the place, but this is pretty big, man. This place is big, man. Yeah, big. And of course, if you want to see the aerial shot of Marigot, definitely go to Aerial Dominica and you will see the video there as well. Anyways, your boy Mr. Licks on the Mr. Licks vlog. Don't forget to turn on your post notifications, guys, when you turn on the bell, and you do that when you subscribe to the channel. You click the bell, and you get all the videos as they come through. If you did definitely enjoy this video, guys, let's try to get this video to like 200 likes. I would appreciate that very much. Anyways, guys, your boy Mr. Licks on the Mr. Licks vlogs. Remember, be real, and always be positive. Now, let me go see if I can find my way back down. I hope they recognize you, Sister Maria.
Yeah, man. I hope you recognize them, Sister Maria. They say change is a must. Change is a must. Change is a must. Now she come like a thief na the night. And them a fly like a fowl. Some of them a bark like a dog. Change is a must. Change is a must. Change is a must. <laughs> Bless yeah. up, man. Yeah. Easy, yeah.